Hey everyone, this is Hella Bella here. I wanted to do a video on online arbitrage and how to find books on Keepa.com and uh, see how the price drops. And basically, we're buying books on Amazon from merchants and we're reselling them via FBA for a much larger price. So most recently, I uh, bought a book for $30 and it sold this morning for $149.99. So I thought... Uh, that prompted me to make a, want to make a video about this process. Um, I think it's very easy and it's very repeatable. Um, the main thing is that you do have to have some money tied up in inventory because you're ordering this book from a merchant, so it's going to take about a week or two to come in the mail. Then you're going to have to turn around and process it and put it into an FBA shipment and get it to the warehouse. So um, you're looking at two to three weeks each time before you're going to get your money back out of the book. Um, so... I'm going to go over some key things to remember, and I'm going to take you through the process that I use. Um, so this is Keepa.com. Um, it works best with Google Chrome. I found, I think um, it doesn't work very well with Internet Explorer. So you can go into track and see what all items I'm tracking right now. And um, I have price alerts set up. So, like, for instance, this uh, Foundations in Microbiology book. Um, I have a price alert set up right now to let me know when it drops below $30. And as soon as it drops, I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. So I have it set up on Facebook and my email. So they're going to send me a notification immediately once the price drops. And that's my cue to go ahead and buy that. So how I pick this book out is I try to find a subject that is pretty specific. Um, so for instance, if I'm thinking about science textbooks, I may think about biology, then take it one step forward further and go into microbiology and then I'm going to scroll through all the microbiology books setting um, setting price alerts for those so as you can see I've already gone through those and I mean someone else could do it too and we could both make money doing it as long I don't I don't really understand why people are paying for services to do this because um, it's very easy and it's not time consuming whatsoever um, and the thing is, if you're paying for a list that everyone else is getting, then obviously that, that listing is going to be worthless pretty soon. So I think it's best to just go at it alone. And I may just be stubborn, um, but I've done well with this, just finding textbooks that are hyper-specific. Maybe if you think about psychology, then you think about clinical psychology or abnormal psychology or child psychology, adolescents, um, geriatrics. There's so many things you can think about to type in that you can set a price alert for. So the name of the game is building up your keep of price alerts. And once you have those built up, you're going to have a pretty consistent uh, string of emails coming in. You know, usually once a day I might get an email saying the price has dropped and I'll go ahead and buy that book, have it sent to me. And so I'm always having uh, some items coming and going to the warehouse. So um, one thing I do uh, keep in mind with this is that you want to look for really good sales ranks. Um, I don't, you know, 50000 and under I think is probably a good, um, good, good thing to, th to look for. Let's see if I can find the, and I'm no expert at using this software whatsoever. Um, I've just started with it, so um, you'll have to bear with me as I'm clicking through here. Um, yeah, but I have, you can see I have it set up $30. Let me know anytime it, uh, the price changes. Um, and you can update your desired price as well, so you don't have to... Um, you don't have to keep it at $30. If you want to be more conservative, you could say $20. I don't want to buy it for any more than that. So um, this is basically just a system that you're using, and you'll figure out what you want your um, your price purchase to be. And you know, you will um, you can be conservative with it. You can be like, screw it. I'm gonna you know, for $40, if I can turn around and make my money back plus 40 more dollars, I'll do that every time. And I think of it as a, you know, from an economic standpoint, if you can trade 40 for 80, how many times are you going to do that, right? You're going to do it over and over again as many times as you can. So basically, that's what this is. Um, it's an investing strategy. You're investing in books, and the returns are amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, and hopefully you don't think it's super complicated. Um, I can click through some more if to give you an idea. So basically what I would do is go to Amazon and um, type in, let's do clinical psychology. Um, wow. See, you already, you don't even have to think, you don't even have to think for yourself. They'll just go ahead and prompt you. Um, yeah, so this book, clinical psychology, the lowest price right now, around $38. 
Let's go and take a look at that. Um, I might want to scroll through and see. Okay, yeah, it looks like. Sorry about that, guys. Getting a, That is a YouTube notification. Um, I would copy this uh, URL. And what I'm going to do is click Prime and see how... Um, See how many prime sellers are already selling this. So you can see right here that the price is at 40 and then it goes up, you know, to 75. So that's a pretty big jump. So I would wait for all these $40 people to sell out and price mine around 75. So let's go over here on Keepa and take a look at this book and see the historical data of it. So we just paste that in to search and there it is. Um, so you can see the price. Uh, let's see statistics um, so if we look at the red that is the highest it's ever gone is uh, $118 new 202 used that makes no sense but whatever the lowest this book has ever dropped is $14 well currently it's $37 and this doesn't take into account the FBA prices either so what I'm gonna do for this book is um, pretty conservative but I'm gonna track this book at any time it drops for under $25 so I'm gonna say Hey, can you let me know when this drops below $25 so I can purchase that and I'll probably send it in for $75. And just because it drops doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. I may wait for it to go, you know, to 20 or to 15. But basically this tr this price history lets us know that it it has dropped to as low as $14.32. So you wouldn't want to set your drop to any lower than that cuz it's historically has never happened. But 25 and under that lets me know that this book has gone as low as $14 in the past, so it's liable to go that low in the future. Sales rank is amazing, 2,333. Uh, that was when it was lowest. And then the current sales rank is, let's see, 15,000. So that is still really good, um, and that's definitely worth waiting on. Um, and we can go into this further. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these in my Keepa uh, docket as well. Let's see. Uh, yeah, here's a, a clinical psychology. Looks like that is a pretty high price book right now. Go ahead and copy that URL. Um, and we just scroll through and have a look at things. Looks like some prime sellers are moving in on that. Um, so let's go over to Keepa and take a look at it. Again, we're just going to go to um, track it. Copy and paste the URL. Here we have the book. Um, we go down and look at uh, statistics, and we see that the lowest used price, wow, was $2.70, and the current price is $118, so um, this is a good indicator that this is a good book to be watching for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set a price alert for $30 on this. Once again, does not mean that I'll buy it at $30, just depends on what kind of mood I'm in when I get that email, but... The current price is um, $89. You can get it new. So um, we'll go ahead and pop on that for $30, start tracking. And I mean, this is basically the system that I use. Um, and books that are more expensive are definitely going to be worth your time, you know, in the long run because you are going to have to have $20, $30 tied up in this. So you want to be able to make $100 profit every time because um, to me that that's not a small sum of money, $20 or $30 tied up because that's that's money that I can't use to invest in other inventory. Um, so, yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, you probably want to start small with this. Start with one book, two books. Um, you don't want to go crazy. Um, don't. Don't be like, Hello Bella told me this amazing system and I spent $500 and now I don't know what I'm doing. Um, just start with, you know, two or three books. And if you want to start up a Keepa, you know, for, for example, like my Keepa, you can go to the products that you're currently tracking. Um, let's see. So I'm tracking um, quite a few books. Not, I mean, probably 25 or under. But you can see that I've set up plenty of uh, alerts. So I'm going to know pretty... I'm going to get these emails pretty often that, hey, you've got a price drop. You need to go ahead and buy this book. Um, and, of course, this works with items other than books. Um, you can do it with anything. Like, if you're looking at an electronic device and you want to wait until the price drops, you can obviously set this. You can use it for personal use as well. I think it's amazing. It's an amazing tool, and there's a lot of money to be made using it. Um uh, other than that, let's see what we can go over. Um, basically, just yeah, you have to develop your own little system for this. Um, it's not, it's not something that you're gonna be uh, 
proficient at the first time you do it. However, I think there's a lot of misinformation on this subject. Um, there's so many people selling lists right now of books to buy and do this with. And honestly, I think that that is a con to get your money because there's no reason that you need to buy a list from somebody. You can easily find the books yourself. Um, all the data is out there. The system, Keepa, is free. Um, it's just a matter of doing the research. Um, and once again, with these lists, if other people are using them, then the, the market is going to be saturated once everyone buys the same book and tries to resell it. So um, just something to keep in mind. And if you guys have questions, please let me know. Um, hopefully this video on online arbitrage was useful to you. And if it works out and you've tried it and it works, uh, leave a comment and let me know because I'm always curious to see if people are trying new strategies to make money. Um, like I said, I've only been doing this for about uh, about uh, maybe two months uh, altogether doing the online arbitrage, and I just heard about it from some other YouTubers. So uh, I'm going to keep doing it and uh, hope you have good luck with it. Hope this video was useful. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, take care.